Today we are going to introduce how to use the power supply of STP series. Notice that on the LCD screen you have the value of voltage, amps and volts. Moreover, notice that the output over here is at off position. To ensure this, you should first press shift, then up. Now you just saw power up when out when output will be on. Or press shift, then down. It will disable the output at power up. This is the default setting for safety reason. Another way to en enable output is to press shift then OP on and off. Now you see the current is at 0 0.05 amps with around 0.4 watts. To disable the output, you should press shift and output off again. To lock the keypad, you should press shift then lock. Now you cannot press anything or even a drop dial. To unlock the keypad, reverse that process again. Press shift then lock. Now you could be fine tuning the job dial or just inputting the values from the keypad. To select the PC interface, there are two options to choose from. One is RS232, another one is RS485. To do this, you should press Shift, then RS232. This selection is chosen for RS232. If you want to confirm, then press Enter. Or if you want to choose RS485, press Shift until this hits 485, then press Enter. Now, RS485 will be chosen. Another concern is about the upper voltage limit setting. To do this, we should press Shift then 0. Now you see on the LCD screen that's 15.8. If you want to, if you want to change the number, press on the keypad. Now we'll choose 16.0 to be our voltage limit, then press enter. Now mo move around with the jog dial. Notice that the voltage limit has been set to 16.0 volts. To set your voltage and current, you can also do it with the keypad. To do this, you should first press enter until you see the reset, then use the keypad to key in the corresponding number. Say 14.0 then press enter now you will be setting your current to oh. 
now your voltage will be changed to 14.0 what about if we set a voltage above the, lim the voltage limit let's say we'll try 20 volts it will show you out of range and you have to change your voltage output now your voltage output will be set to 15 volts to program the STP you should press program zero program zero has 20 sub steps so now we'll use 9 volts 5 amps 0 minutes and 5 seconds as the first step and press enter again now you go to the second step we will use 2 volts 4 amps 5 seconds as well which goes through a cycle if you want to terminate the step you should set your timer to 0 minutes 0 seconds when you want to terminate the time program press clear To recall the program, press recall and zero. Now you'll see your steps, confirm the steps, then press enter. This will ask you how many cycles did you want. We'll try three cycles, then press enter again. Now the program runs through three cycles until it stops. There are also programs 1 to 9 that, that is called preset programming, which is you have only one preset voltage and one preset current. To program this, you should press program, that one. Now you are under VSET, so you should set your voltage 14, 14 volts then press enter now you have to set the current let's have 5 amps then press enter now it jumps to the next preset program you could either program the preset program or you could just press clear until it gets back to the original screen to recall the first program press recall then one then press enter now the voltage has has been set to 14 volts according to program one let's try another program program two We'll set it as 18 volts. This shows out of range because we have set our upper voltage limit to 16 volts. So the maximum voltage you can set is 16 volts.
therefore you have to be very careful about the upper voltage limit otherwise you will encounter out of range all the time if you have set the upper voltage limit too low